Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Psukim of Bitochen, another verse from Mishle, chapter 14, verse 26. And the Pasuk says, Biyiras Hashem Miftach Oiz. When one has the fear of Hashem, it is a Miftach Oiz, it is a powerful stronghold. Language of Miftach Bitochen. It's a stronghold of trust. Ulebonov Yimachse, and for his children, it will be a machse, will be a place of refuge. Yiras Hashem apparently says Mishle Shlomo Melech and Bitochin, they go hand in hand. If a person has real fear, and fear doesn't mean that you walk around frightened, anxious, and nervous all day long because you're afraid that Hakadosh Baruch is going to clap you if you do the wrong thing. Yira, the way that is translated in general, means the awe that one has of the Rebbeinu Sha'ilam. The total awareness that HaKadosh Baruch is running the world, He's watching over me, He's keeping track of my actions, my deeds, my thoughts, my speech, and the like. And therefore I stand humbly in tremendous awe, being almost overwhelmed by the greatness and the glory of HaKadosh Baruch and His Shekhinah. When a person lives a life like that, so then that year, that awe that one has, that recognition of my subservience to the Rebbeinu Shalom and the mastery and the greatness and the omniscience of Hashem, it's miftach oiz. It is a powerful stronghold. It is what increases and will in, and give me what's called bitachin, it will give me this trust in the Rebbeinu Shalom. When I recognize Hashem, when I see HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when I'm in awe of the presence of Hashem and all that HaKadosh Baruch Hu stands for and all His omnipotence and omniscience, that itself gives me the bitachin, it gives me a trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I rely on Hashem, on that God that's so mighty and so awesome, on that God that is so great and so big, on that God who does everything from the littlest to the smallest to the largest and the biggest things in my life and the life of the entire universe. That is the one that I'm b'iteach oiz. I put strong, tremendously strong bitachin in Hashem. And the result is that for the children afterwards, Yimachsa HaKadosh Baruch will also be the refuge, the stronghold of the children. When a parent lives in a world of Amun and Bitochen, when a parent is an example of what it means to believe in Hashem, when a parent talks about the Rebbe Yenishayim, when a parent speaks lovingly of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's kindness and his chesed and the mercy that he has upon him, when a parent tells over stories that happened personally in his life, where you're able to see the glory of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Yad of Hashem, the hand of Hashem in your life, and your children are privy, they're growing up in your house, they're sitting by your table on a Tuesday night as you come home and you tell your wife a beautiful story of Hashkach Pratis. They're sitting at your table on Shabbos Friday night or Shabbos day when you want to tell over beautiful insights into the parsh and relate it back to yourself, how this happened to you and that happened to you and you see how Kodesh Baruch Hu took care of Avram and Hashem took care of Noyach and Hashem took care of Yitzchak and He gave children to Sarah and to Avram Avinu and so too in my own life, how Kodesh Baruch Hu has taken care of me. When your children see the way that you are living that life of Amun and Bitochen, it becomes a machse. So then it becomes a refuge for them as well. Your children then, Be'ezras Hashem Yisbarach, they will follow in on that pathway. They will also see the Bari Eilam in their life. They will also submit themselves before HaKadosh Baruch Hu with great humility, understanding that HaKadosh Baruch Hu in all of His awesomeness, all of His greatness, He's right down here in the world taking care of us, the little people that we are, taking care of all of our needs as well. And therefore, we increase our year on Shemayim, not to being afraid of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but being in awe of Hashem. That itself bolstered our personal bitachin in the Rebbein Shalom, and then for our children as well, who will be exposed to that, and they will see that, and they will imbibe our amun and our bitachin, then it will be a machse, it will be a source and a place of refuge for them as well. Have a wonderful day.